gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Cranberry County City Skyline Series from yours truly Design Candy. This is episode number 16, Airport Part 2. Today's episode, we tackle a fun, interesting, crazy, dynamic, daring project in the city skylines airport world that is a rental car section lot building operation everything to be everything to do about rental cars welcome to the episode today today like i said just a second ago we are doing rental cars and i had a lot of influence from Google Maps. Google Maps has been my friend. If you haven't seen it last episode, I've lived and died by Google Maps. So really quick, some background on this project. This is episode number two, uh, part two of the uh, airport series. I don't know how many parts will go. Probably two more, maybe, maybe two more, two more. After this, we'll start building the terminals and do a little bit of detail work and then do a big airport tour probably the last episode so maybe two more and this episode is 22 minutes probably about 23 24 after the time lapse maybe 22 so you guys voted for it you want smaller shorter episodes i'm giving it to you next episode though i'll have to cave in it will definitely be longer than the rest of them it has to be this is too much there's too much to show So I cut this bad boy down to 22 and a half minutes. It was probably, I actually have always had the numbers right before because then I do a time lapse. So last episode was exactly nine hours to record. Nine straight hours of recording. Yeah, pretty crazy. So I do want to do some background on uh, what we're building. It's based off of the South Florida International Airport. Again, that's South Florida International Airport. I know it as Fort Myers, flew into it a couple of times. Uh, but that's what this is loosely based off of. Not loosely, it's actually heavily based off of it. So go check that out if you need some of where my inspiration is. But yeah, that's what it's based off of, South Florida International Airport. So last episode, the introduction, we built the gas station, like the kiss and ride, turn around gas station. You know, you go to the airport, and you're super early and you can't just wait at the terminal for your person. You loop back around and hit the gas station uh, for some snacks, for some yummy food. Or if you have a rental car and you wanna fill up, you pay a gajillion dollars to the gallon at the gas station. So that's what that's for. And then we did the introduction and layout of the main terminal. There's only one terminal on uh, in this airport because it's a smaller airport, more of a regional style airport. And then we dialed in the parking lot. So today is purely, purely rental car area, the rental car area. And just a lot of custom details. I hope you guys are taking note. Let me know what you're feeling. Let me know if you like these details by the end of it. Really quick, I do want to quickly plug designcandy.tv. Make sure to check out designcandy.tv. We have merch, exclusive subscription offers for all of the hashtag candy fam. If you're interested, go on over to that site and check it out. We'll do some next episode. I'll probably do like a little merch code because you guys are buying that stuff up. So I want to kind of hook you guys up with like a little discount. If you want a discount, let me know in the comment section. How about this? If anybody lets me know in the comment section, I'll actually get a code dialed in. But you have to let me know. You have to. Someone has to comment that. (laughs) But yeah, check it out. Designcandy.tv. Okay, so this airport is fun 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 i already have ideals for the next airport which would be in our hawthorne spring series so if you're watching this in the future hopefully that video will be recommended somewhere but make sure to check that out and all of you like existing week-to-week viewers it's coming hawthorne springs is making a comeback very very soon shout out to all you corona quarantiners hopefully this is coming at a perfect time for your viewing pleasure and i kind of want to up the ante on just content here in the next month so we're going to try to go back to at least once a month concurrent and then maybe every other excuse me once a week with an episode and then maybe 
every other week we'll drop a Hawthorne Springs episode. Again, just for you quarantiners, because I know it can get lonely and dry. So I want you guys to be able to watch some stuff. And if I can help out in any way, uh, that could be the way that I help out. So make sure you pay attention on the screen. We are going to answer some comments earlier in the episode. I know a lot of you commented. There was a lot of comments last episode. So we're going to get straight into it. I, hopefully I can answer them sufficiently. Uh, and then we'll do the cool overlays. I haven't done overlays in a couple episodes. Those are back just because I have a little bit more time to edit these episodes. So let's get into it. Make sure you ask your questions too for the next episode. We'll probably do questions all throughout the series. So make sure to get your questions, concerns, and comments in. All right, here we go. The first question is from Fidget Spinner One. Fidget Spinner One asks, are you gonna add a small private jet executive terminal to the airport? Also, do you have a private bus service for the university as well as a university police, university ROTC, ROTC building and Cranberry County Sheriff's office? If not, you should add one. Sorry if I'm asking too many questions. And also the way you say city reminds me of the voice from one of the mar or narrators in this early show called Mighty Machines in the 20s. Cool. Thank you so much, Fidget Spinner, for your comment. Uh, the first, let's answer one by one. The first thing is small private jet executive terminal. I wrote that down. That is a beast ideal. We will probably revisit the airport as the city grows. That's kind of my like caveat because this airport's gonna stay relatively small you know it's design candy y'all i can't do it that small but in my terms it's gonna stay pretty small but i'm open to coming back and adding like an executive terminal right now there's no crazy business executives living in cranberry county y'all like the people that fly out of this airport probably work in a bigger city and this is like a closer airport than the international airport in their big city or in their surrounding city. So maybe like somewhere in Alabama, this is common or uh, Greeley, Colorado, like that. Even this, even this airport's too, it's it's way big for like a Greeley, Colorado, but kind of not. Again, we're building off of South Florida. So that's in Fort, Fort Myers specifically. So, but yeah, I don't think this airport specifically would have an uh, an executive terminal but that's a great suggestion again we'll come back and revisit that uh fidget spinner also asked about university police and rotc buildings and sheriff's offices we have all of that don't fret we definitely have all that and then the name comment or the voice comment so thank you so much fidget spinner uh let's get another question i love these questions make sure you put your questions and concerns comments what i should do next anything like that down below in the comment section and make sure you hashtag it candy fam. You have a better shot of getting it read in an episode. I love when I read these. You're in history. Literally think about it that way. Next question is from Manifer. Uh, Manifer says, great episode. Actually, OG candy famer. Big shout out to you. Great episode. Maybe when you detail the gate and put down planes, maybe you can put down a Palm Island plane. The website looks great. Hashtag Candy Fam. Thank you so much, man. Again, OG with you, Maxwell, Metro Filmer, um, X2 Drippy. All you guys are, you know, Tyrese. All you guys. Big shout out to the Hashtag Candy Fam. You guys are making a name for yourself. I miss you guys. Thank you so much for interacting. Okay, so am I going to put down planes? When you, oh, we said when you detail, can I put down a Palm Island plane? Yes, I can. Actually, I, we had to make one. I don't think I have a Palm Island livery. I know for a fact I have a Design Candy Airline and then an Apple Mountain Valley. Hopefully, I can find a picture. I'm going to put up the picture right now. But yeah, let's let's look into it. I want to see if I can create a livery. It probably won't come like super soon, but maybe in the last episode. Maybe not next episode, but the episode after that. Next question comes from the awesome gamer. Awesome gamer asked, if you ever make another city skyline series, what would it be based on or where? Oh, and I stumbled across your videos because I was watching city skylines and saw Palm Island. 
you might remember me. I asked if you could make a Walmart, but you said no since you already had a Target. I do remember you, the awesome gamer, and it wasn't because I had a Target, it was because I had a Costco. This sounds super nerdy as I just said that. Oh my gosh. For all of you that are new, go back and watch Palm Island. Original question. The next City Skyline series, I don't know if you know, I plug this every, seems like 10 minutes. My current series consists of Cranberry County, the one you're watching, and I also have a series called Hawthorne Springs. That one's gaining a bunch of traction. I say it every episode because people literally don't know it exists. That series exists. Go check it out. But the next series that I want to do, I'm definitely going back tropical. So we're going to do like a California Palm Island 2, right? Part 2 or something like that. Obviously, it's not going to be called Palm Island, but it's going to be something very, very similar to that. So what I've been thinking is some sort of mountain, mountainous town that's super small, super detailed build. And I don't know, mountains, obviously palm trees, tropical, but this mountainous, beautiful uh, landscape. I kind of want to challenge myself in landscaping and terraforming. So uh, Flux Trance, if you ever watch these videos, Hit me up. <laughs> I need some. I need some tutorials. I need some tips. <laughs> so he's like the king of terraforming. But yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. So hopefully, hopefully we can stay with it. Okay. Last but not least is D J M Q something sizzle something. Uh, you should also build an IKEA store. Everyone loves IKEA. Bass Pro Shop, Outdoor World. I think you should build this you get this mode from mod from steam i think that's what you meant thank you so much uh for commenting um yeah bass pro shop one day i think we have like a, a outdoor shop called the gardener so there's that actually i want to do one more thank you so much for commenting man uh daniel lewis says are you going to add a tiny mall daniel lewis i might add a tiny mall. Actually, I will. I will add a tiny mall at some point. Uh, small towns like this ha definitely have tiny malls or decent sized malls. The funny part is, though, there's no stores in those malls. So I know King Leno has a bunch of abandoned building assets, and I'm definitely going to do that. I don't know exactly what we're doing after the airport. So it's all in, up in the air for the airport. Get it? <laughs> So right here, I want to cut in right here. This is a really cool technique. If you're watching the screen, if you're listening, don't pay attention. There's a lot of people that listen to my videos, which I love. We should do like a podcast. If you're interested in that, let me know below. Should I do a podcast? And I just released just the audio of this with the music. I don't know. Let me know. But on the screen is a cool technique that I just literally, I was, I'm, I'm looking at Google Maps and I'm trying to find out the best way to implement this and it turned out great literally go look up south florida airport and look at and compare the two because this is what they had they had a little cutout of their parking garage and i assume i really don't know but i assume if you've been there let me know i assume that the rental car area extends well it has to right that parking structure is not for parking we learned that last episode right that parking structure is used purely for the rental cars right so when you drop them off that's going to be the first part that we were building you get your rental car back from wh wherever you're going and you drop it off in the in the front right you can only go one way to get a rental car, I'm assuming that they all have offices in the building in front of this right now that we built in episode one. And then every company has a section of this garage. Then you go out to the garage and pick a car that you like or that you paid for. So all of the cars in the garage are rental cars. All the cars on this side that you see now are returns. So that was cool. Cutting out that portion of the parking garage is really dope. And yeah, here's a rental car return, right? Only one way in, one way out. So that's pretty cool. I think that 
I don't know. I, I mean, it's a very interesting layout. As I go back and look at this, I recorded this maybe a month ago. And so it's cool watching it back. And so one detail that's not in here are the rental car signs. I'm really struggling. Let me know below if you have any knowledge about copyright or trademark or all this. I'm struggling with putting brands inside of my videos. I'm really having a hard time with that. I think I should be covered under the like Fair Use Act or the Parody Act, right? Because technically I'm not, I mean, I'm not making fun or making light, but technically this is, this would be a parody of a real airport, right? It's not a real airport, but also I know with copyright laws, I'm using the likeness of a company's logo and image. So I struggled with creating or putting down like budget rental car or rent a center or Avis, you know, the popular rental car companies. I'm having a hard time gripping with, okay, this channel is going to grow because we're pushing out content like crazy. y'all. We're super consistent now. I want to take this channel just to the next content level. So I'm thinking, you know, if you're watching this in the future, big shout out. Hey, you know, four or five years down the line when the channel blows up, because it will, right? Have faith. But when it blows up, you know, getting some sort of cease and assist or some sort of legal action against the channel for having, you know, likenesses and names of real companies. So that's the big fear. So that's why in the moment you don't see like a bunch of rental car signage of real companies because I struggled with that, you know, just being vulnerable. And number two, I could, I didn't have any creative juices at the time of this recording to just come up with like logos and names of knockoff rental car companies. Cause that's what it takes, right? That's, there's only two options here to make it look realistic. Either I knock one off or I use the real likeness of the company. So I'm also on the screen right now doing something that I rarely do for you all. And I'm showing you the light and lighting portion of a build. I never show lighting or lighting. I said lightning hilarious i never show lighting lighting plainly because i don't think it's that interesting but for some reason in this build it was kind of satisfying to see the lighting go up for these rental car lots i don't know what it was i think it's just because it was a big lot and to see it lit up at night or see the process of the lighting design was just riveting and so, yeah, that's why we did this. I actually, if you didn't catch it, you st all, all of a sudden, you would have saw like four different instances of this rental car building pop up. What I did is I made one first and then I duplicate, I just copied and pasted using the move it tool all around to make three different instances. So I didn't have to do the same thing. So there's, there's drawbacks to that, right? Because all of them look the exact same but it took half the time right like i saved an hour doing that so hopefully you guys understand right here on the screen i've never like talked about on the screen stuff this is kind of fun we normally just talk about nothing all through the episode you guys love talking about not nothing but like comments and questions so right here's a really interesting technique from just my exhaustion of getting realism uh putting down grass on all of the concrete pieces of this parking lot. The result is fantastic, but it literally, I mean, this clip right here is another hour, right? It took an hour and I got super lazy on just the edges, right? It was, it was like, ugh. And the amount of props that I am on is just ridiculous. I'm on so many props. I'm just waiting to hit that prop limit. And then we took a mod, big shout out to whoever made this mod back in the Cranberry, or excuse me, back in the Palm Island days. It's called Prop Unlimiter. I still have this mod. The only drawback to the mod is you cannot use Move It. So I hold off as long as physically possible to use that mod. So, but yeah, fun things coming up. So next episode, because we're wrapping up this episode, we got a couple minutes left. Next episode is the terminal. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, we're gonna have one, two, three terminals, three total terminals. Uh, terminal A, Terminal B, and then Terminal C. Uh, terminal B will be more of an international terminal. I know it's a regional airport, but 
this will have some pretty decent sized jets. Only one terminal though, and actually only one little spoke side of it. So the airport layout's pretty basic. The terminal's right there. Uh, it has little attachment buildings, but for the most part, you don't have to take any type of transportation. There's no bridges. It's just boom, 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 straight from the terminal. You go through security and then right at your gate. So uh, international would probably, I don't know if it's an international more so than bigger airplanes. So maybe like a direct flight that you can catch out of Cranberry County Regional Airport. But yeah, we're definitely gonna do just super small jets except for uh, the, the big terminal. And again, that big terminal, only parts of it will be bigger body airplanes. We got some 747s, so. That will do it for this episode. Man, I'm just super excited. The channel is growing. Thank you guys so much. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more. Like you watch this video for 21 minutes and 10 seconds. So if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe. There's so many of you who have not subscribed to this channel, but watch every week. Subscribe, make sure you like the video. It lets me know where you guys are at in terms of this channel and make sure you comment engage below hashtag candy famit we interact with each other you can be like manifer metro filmer aaron clark max maxwell uh tyrese those are just a, a couple uh the uh, connoisseur i think his name was pdtv uh the, people like that people like that are just strong and steady in the hashtag candy community hashtag candy fam community and every episode i ask you where you guys are watching from or where you're born or like a fun icebreaker question so try to engage in that if you're new be a part of the family we're growing it's only going to get bigger so make sure you get in at the ground floor thank you guys so much for watching this episode again next week's episode is the airport and the airport terminals we're gonna do some planes and some terminal stuff make sure you guys check it out all the binge watchers next episode is up right now and all of the weekly viewers i'll see you guys next week peace <laughs>